that I had something else that I wanted to talk about. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, how yeah. you, how? So I want to... Yeah, yeah, but you're going to have to wait, sir. Sorry, JC might have invited you in, but I had other things that I wanted to talk about. Prayer. Not here, but I invited him before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not here, not here. I didn't invite him here. Come, oh. come back, uh, Uncle. Uncle, maybe come back in an hour or so. In an hour or so. I just wanted to if you have spare time later. Yes. To have a chat with you. Absolutely. I'll try and come and find you or you come and find I'll, me. I'll, I'll hang around. I'm here until about six ish. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Use on that. I want to see you there. Okay. It's about Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll talk about it. So ladies and gentlemen, I wanna talk about I wanna talk about some in fact, we're supposed to keep this bicycle lane clear. So can we can we come in this way? Okay. So I want to talk about some other kind of political issues. Okay. So I want to I want to change the topic. But before I do, no. I want to draw your attention yeah. to the power of public pageantry. Okay, what's going on with them? This is a Shia, uh, a Shia demonstration, demonstration About a, a Shia procession that combines religion and politics. We Christians used to have processions like this. It's time that we rediscover them. Yes. It is time that Christians rediscover the power, the cultural power of public demonstrations of our faith. Yes. Because for too long, we Christians have gone along with the Enlightenment and the liberal progressives who tell us that we should be embarrassed about our faith, embarrassed about public declarations of our faith, embarrassed about public processions of our faith. It's time that we take a leaf out of the book of our Eastern Orthodox brothers Amen. who have processions where tens of thousands of people go on pilgrimage together with icons, singing chants, reciting psalms. Christians, rediscover the power of public pageantry. Rediscover the power of public symbolism. Because what it does is it imprints an impression upon the soul. Now I've joined in, I've joined in a number of processions in my Christian life, like Corpus Christi, or other processions connected to processing with the cross at Easter. And I tell you, the absolute look of stunning amazement of the non-believers when thousands of Christians follow the cross in their robes and refineries, holding high the Bible, holding high the icons, holding high the cross, with their incense, chanting and singing, it creates an impression within our culture that we Christians need to rediscover because of the power that it has on the world around it. So Christians, I implore you, unite with one another around Easter time, around Christmas time, around All Saints Day, around Pentecost and go on public procession. Have public acts of worship. Take the church out into the street. Be the church in the street. Not just a lovey-dovey community that has a picnic, but combine religious symbolism and political narrative together. Combine public processions of the cross at Easter with talking about the martyrdom of the church and the suffering Christian community throughout the Islamic world. Combine talking about the nativity with the idea of campaigning against abortion. Combine the idea of Pentecost with a campaign against fighting against ethno-nationalism or Islamization because of the dignity of all cultures and races. So ladies and gentlemen, we Christians must rediscover the power of public procession, of public pageantry. It's there in our faith, it's there in our customs. We're only imitating ourselves and we were doing it 600 years before Muslims, 
Where do you think they got that from? They're copying us. As usual. So, and more to the point, Christians in many Muslim countries would be attacked for doing public processions like that in Islamic societies. If, if Christians process like that in Egypt or Pakistan, they are attacked by Muslims. And, and killed. And, and killed. And so, Christians, we need to rediscover it and we need to stand and fight for the rights of Christians in the Muslim world to do the same. So, now to talk about some other political questions. So, cut.